more more of the marijuana and a simple package this is for dad and his son <laughs> how's it going guys welcome back to drug dealer simulator we are continuing to build our empire drug empire now i was thinking about the game the first thing i want to do we've labeled the ecstasy jar we colored uh, we colored it red it's not red the ecstasy is blue white blue blue white <laughs> blue white pills either way i'm gonna change that and i was thinking before sleep i was thinking that uh, the the progression of the game goes with with the task with the quest task that we complete it's not about the amount of drugs you sell so you can probably so we can probably we can probably sell a lot and still have not reach any progression i'm not sure if that's even important but i don't know so ecstasy blue you see blue blue turn up the volume oh let's uh, pack that up so 40 grams of ecstasy 20 of amphetamine marijuana we are kind of full on it we just something in our inventory are these new orders Ooh, a lot of work to do and respect prices yes in the last video we increased the price of amphetamine by one buck buck one dollar so let's get down to business noah you need two grams of mdma that's ecstasy new social security payment check your bank account four three hundred bucks beautiful yeah we were we were out of the job before we started our venture and i think we're gonna need a backpack right so we are on 128 dollars 10 skill points do we want pockets runner stealth i will go for stealth and salesman that's it 15 and 5 Let's go with 15 of math and 5 of uh, special ingredient. This is 4 and where is this one? 1. Nice. Let's mix it. Yo, welding. Nice job. This is not what the client expects. The products must have expected quantity and form. That's not 17. What the hell? Maybe dealers need the pure stuff. Okay. They're coming, so let's move fast. Now let's see. Yes, you can only. So the dealers only take pure stuff. Okay, now we learned that. Now we learned that. We're low on amphetamine, which means. Give me 50 of amphetamine. 25 of X. And give me 20 marijuana just to be sure. Increase math to 55. Well, why not? 30? No. 28. Okay, I finish. We finished. We finished all of the orders, and now let's go and take our drop. We have a lot of cash. Did we pay our? Did we pay Eddie? Can I pay you right away? Let's see. 700 we can why not but we uh, we made a nice progress if we are looking from the beginning when the, the usual delivery was like 50 bucks 
Okay, 50 grams, 55 of amphetamine, 25 ecstasy, and 28 of marijuana, amphetamine. Oh, look at this dead bag. Oh, I love it. More candy. A small little candy. More, more of the marijuana and a small package. This is for dad and his son. <laughs> dad. Sector B. The police has lifted the blockade from Sector B to the ghetto. The checkpoints are guarded by police officers, so to move the contraband through the wall, you will have to find alternate ways to the other side and back. Hey, looks like the blockades got lifted. Right on. Let's go look around Sector B, shall we? But keep in mind that the police will search your shit each time you pass the checkpoint. So if you need to move something illegal through that wall, well, we're gonna have to get creative. Alright there, listen up. A guy will write to you soon. He will solve the cash flow problem I warned you about earlier, if you know what I mean. You meet him, bring him cash, he does his magic. He'll explain you the details personally. See ya! Before you go meet that guy, you have better check if he doesn't drive a white van handing out candy. You know, I'm just saying. Okay, now this is the solution. How so laundering money is the solution on how to show the illegal, li illegal money as legal money. So you can legally buy things, which is nice. How much do we have currently on our bank account? 1000. We just deposit 150 and we got 300. That's good. So the only way is to launder money. We have a crystal crystal meth in our offer. Beautiful. Speaking about it. Ooh, let's order it right away. 30 grams. Nah. 50. 50? 50 of that, 20 meth, 10 of marijuana, and the next is just for case. So we have free room, 15. Let's go with 29 ecstasy. 25. Will be are we gonna be able to carry that in one run? I think not. Try and sort of more and pay extra for nighttime deliveries. Okay. Working at night reduces exposition and boosts respect and experience gained from sales. Nice to know. So Gerard. As far as I know, Eddie introduced me, so I'll make this short. I if you need money, if you need your money cleaned, let me know. We'll meet, you bring me cash and you get a clean legal transfer from my company to your account right after. The minimum amount is 500 and my fee is 40%. Ooh, that also covers all the paperwork and taxes. Nice, Gerard. 40%, so $100, $40 goes to him. Patrol requested around two towers, over. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. We're still waiting for the drop. Daniela, you need three grams of mm, fat. <laughs> Can we go through the sewers through this vent? Maybe later. Huh, so if we want to go to the underground, we need to pay him one hundred dollars. And where does that lead? Where it leads to? Because if we pick up a lot of, if we pick up a big drop package, it's quite worth it. Maybe it will be a nice payoff to give him one hundred bucks, but that sounds too much. I don't know. 
We'll see, we'll see when the situation arrives. Should I? I can't. Should I take bigger pockets? More pockets. Here it is. Drop is ready. Let's go. Definitely save. Prepare now, guys. Drop is in sector B. We can't pass during police hours. I'm assuming I never tried it. This is not good. This is not good at all. Okay, where does this lead? Open up. Bye. We are on the other side, that's it. That's it. So I'm guessing it's gonna be open all the time. Oh, nice. Stealth. Let's go for stealth. Illusionist. Stealth and... Stamina. Wait a second. Okay, so the dark prophecy is true. We need to pay him $100 every time we go through the tunnel. I don't have that amount of cash to go back. Oh, police hours, yeah. Now, this is kinda... This is not good. Why? We can't take our drop, we can't go across the police checkpoint. Because we don't have any money to pay this guy. ATM. We need ATM on this side. We're gonna risk it, we're gonna risk it. We need to risk it now, it's, come on, 4 a.m. <laughs> I think there's three and a half hours of police hours left. Or we can, okay, there are two options that we can do. Currently that's on our mind, on my mind. Uh, so we can take the cash from the ATM, pay the, the guy, pick up delivery, pay the guy and go across. Or we can take the drop, wait until police hours are over, throw the bag over that wall that we saw earlier on and save a hundred bucks. Now, what's the best play? Where are they going? Okay, on the left. Can I just hide somewhere? Patrol requested to the eastern flum. Hey, over. come over here, pal. We have nothing on us but police hours. Stand still, please. Okay, now you're fucked, buddy. Yeah, you think you're fucked? Try to get that drop. You mean to... <laughs> you don't have to take the drop, yeah. Okay, so... They got us 50 bucks. Eh, but... We still can go across. Damn it. Over the wall, nice. Avoid the main street. Beautiful, no one around. Now, where's the drop? In here. Was this cemetery? It is. Mm. 
we lost the drop. $700 of goods. Okay. Now that means that during the day we need to pile up. Pile up with some... We need to order as much as we can during the whole day. We lost $700 in goods. Just because he made a drop over the on the other side during the police hours. I mean, we couldn't know that that's gonna happen. Never thought about it. Ugh, but what can you do? What can you do? And that, that I can fulfill... Can I order a new one? This will probably take three hours. Ugh. Make an... We go to the cartel? Yeah, we owe, we owe for this, for this, oof. we owe for this order that we lost. That was, that's, oof. I was talking about it. You know what? I have a plan. How do we owe? How much do we owe? 840 bucks. Okay, we have how much? 838. Backpack. Take the cash. Take the cash. Take the spray paint. Let's make a small delivery. Just a tiny little bit. We don't have any clients. Two grams of amphetamine. Okay. And chuck a little grams of amphetamine. Sorry, Chuck, but I can't. I have only two grams. I have only two grams. Only one package available. We are only low on amphetamine. We need more clients. I mean, we have dealers, but we can go to ATM and raise some cash. We draw some money. Really? Do you have anything illegal on No, we don't need to withdraw it right now because we are not owning anyone, anyone money. Let's pay Eddie. Let's pay Eddie, and then we are, we are uh, debt free. We have some things in our apartment to sell. Maybe let's hope we're gonna get uh, some orders so we can sell that what we have and make a new order. But you always have to ask yourself, is there anything else I can do? get mm, to get the most out of the situation and there is there's an order from our dealer for 47 grams of meth this is gonna be a risk because we have one thousand dollars on our ATM we can order a new shipment we can order new stuff we can order some new stuff and pay with the ATM money. Here's one cash from the dealer. 37 gram of crystal and 17 gram of speed. Let's order. Let's order. So let's risk it. This, is, this my friends is calling bearing yourself to the grave. <laughs> 50 grams of crystal meth. 50 grams of amphetamine. Give me 10 ecstasy and just 15 of... Fifteen, fifteen. that's it. Or thousand dollars. So either if we... No. Either we're gonna come out as a winner or we're gonna go bankrupt. Yeah, three hours. Ooh. All units, yeah. Why is everyone ordering the only thing I don't have? Why? Why today? Why now? Don't you want to do... We don't want to use anything else? Him too. 
keen to. I don't even have one gram. Waiting for the job, come on. I'm just hoping it will be on our side. I don't want to have it behind the checkpoint. The moment of truth. Right on our doorstep. Beautiful. You know what we should do? 50, 50, 10, 5, 5, 10. Okay. We should take all of the money from the ATM, withdraw it, uh, pay Eddie for this, this drop right now, and instantly order another one because, as I said, we want to order as much as we can during the, the day. Okay. Checking card, you draw how much? Thousand. Thank you. Okay, now we have enough cash for ready. Pay him, order new stuff. Okay. Eddie. 980 bucks. Eddie, my boy. I need again 50 crystal. Give me 60 of amphetamine. 10 of X and 10 of marijuana. What a shady way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I had to upgrade something, so we at least have a feeling of uh, advancement, improving ourselves, or similar. We're not done yet. I'm not gonna exit the game and leave. Where is it? Where is the drop first? Near us, okay. Double dive, okay, go. Save. Nah. You're gonna be careful. Yeah, we took a $700 of merchandise that was taken from us. We learned a lot. We learned a lot. I think there's uh, still a lot to learn. Definitely. And, uh, but we got a supply bag at least. We kinda unlocked the new area. Not fully yet. I need to see. I need to Google it, probably. We need more clients. We need more clients. That's for sure. We need more clients. Look at this. 50 meth. 50 amphetamine. 10 of amphetamine. More. So, 60 amphetamine. 50 meth. 10 of ecstasy. And 10 of marijuana. I doubt it. I'm gonna finish this arrangements. I'm gonna take the money from this dealer. Uh, until then guys, thank you all guys so much for watching, enjoy your life, take care of yourself, we'll see you in the next video, marching, plugging out.